J Flight 29 QBS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan from Jayco. And ladies and gentlemen, it finally happened. They're finally building an, uh, a travel trailer at Jayco that looks as good on the outside as it always has on the inside. Uh, performance has never been an issue. This is the number one selling travel trailer for over 10 straight years. That is a feat literally no one else has ever accomplished in the most competitive segment of the towable RV industry. So how have they achieved that? That's what this video is about. Every RV, every RV is the best for a different reason. Obviously the J Flight's the best for more reasons or it wouldn't be selling. So let's kind of dig in here. It's a bit windy. I'm hoping the, the wind doesn't really affect the camera. First of all, awesome exterior package. This thing looks, it just looks sharp. And that's the thing. It doesn't, it's not like, it doesn't stand out in a way that's like offensive or anything. It's low key, but it is sharp and it's seriously put together. We've got uh, a big power awning here. And uh, what I like about this is not only is it large, but it has a full length LED light strip. Some manufacturers will take a 10 foot light strip and just shove it in the middle of the coach and kind of cheat that way. Another thing, it's a better quality power awning. Watch how fast this thing moves. They're using better quality awnings, better quality tongue jacks at Jayco. That's why their stuff lasts longer, has fewer issues. Um, the uh, underbelly, we have fully enclosed on this as part of a thermal package. Now this is an option, as is that uh, power awning. Uh, you know, I, I want to point this kind of stuff out as I go through, because uh, not every single 29 QBS we carry is going to look exactly like this one. There are some uh, optional pieces of equipment put on here that, uh, you know, may differ from, the, basically the unit we have in stock might differ from this video. This is stock footage, that's what I'm getting at. Now, not only are they using diamond plate, they're using like a serious three foot of diamond plate or something crazy here. They're using way more diamond plate up front. And that's to deflect more stones and keep this thing looking better. See, that's the difference. They've run the diamond plate all the way down to the bottom of the skirt, and a lot of people won't do that extra foot or six inches or whatever it is. Um, you know, twice the warranty is basically anything else in its class. Jayco's had the best warranty in the Toll of RV business now for a very long time. Um, another one of those upgrades we've added, but we will tend to do more often than not, is the nice looking aluminum wheel package. Now this is a standard thing, and this is way better than what most people even offer as an option. And most people don't offer an upgrade suspension on a travel trailer. That's a Moride CRE3000 rubber dampening, shock dampening system. That means that these wheels have 50% more independent wheel travel either way before the whole trailer junks basically and um it's not a technical term by the way the uh <laughs> the rubber dampening system here is going to help absorb all those heavy road shocks and jolts before they get translated into the coach and forward into your tow vehicle um man this thing just looks good inside outside all the way around man they really put it together here well um this is a bunkhouse model. We have a, a big storage compartment here uh, under this side of the bunks. And notice, anywhere you look, you're not going to see particle board. Uh, you know, you're not going to see press board. They don't use that stuff at Jayco. It is plywood or it is nothing. Um, we have a, uh, man, sorry about that wind. We have a, a roof access ladder here because this does have a truly fully walkable roof. Their name for it is the Magnum Truss Roof System. And it has, since Jayco started using it, uh, and uh, their, their roof warranties have fallen off the charts. You've seen a lot of other manufacturers try to make something like it. No one's exactly replicated it yet. Um, it is, like I said, truly fully walkable, heavy duty stuff. Now, full outside kitchen here, and notice this door sticks right up here so that you can use it like a rain shield effectively. Um, we do have a larger, full size outdoor refrigerator here. Keep in mind, these are electric only. These only work when you're plugged into park power or shore power, whatever phrasing you want to use right there. Uh, they leave you lots of open space here and they leave you a power outlet nearby so that you can still run uh, you know, griddles and blenders and things like that. They've made these doors easier access. Notice that they have nicer metal struts, not plastic struts, and these cabinets here are deeper, larger. Just to give you an idea, they go pretty close up to my elbow. And uh, you know, outside here, all hardwood doors going on. And even in your outside kitchen, you have full LED lights. You're not going to look at incandescent bulbs anywhere in here. Even outside, just like inside, all of your drawers are full four-sided plywood box constructed, including this faceplate right here. Manufacturers will sometimes try to cheat to save a dollar, and they'll screw the faceplate to the sides, and it just wiggles loose, and it sucks, and it doesn't work. 
um, you know, then you guys call me and you say, hey, I've got a warranty problem on a trailer that shouldn't be here. Now you're upset, now I get upset, and everybody's upset. Now we don't have that problem because Jayco built it right. Pardon me, I'm going to shut the door here. Oh, wow. Windy day, this thing's fighting me. There we go. Okay. So one thing I want to point out, you walk in, bang, lights. Your full living cabin lights are on one switch. You don't have to go through and flip all the switches individually. That's the kind of stuff most people aren't going to show you because most salesmen are lazy and won't hook power up to an RV to demonstrate these things for you. Unfortunately, that tends to be more of the rule than the exception. Um, they have, uh, by the way, I believe, uh, shoot, what is it? I think this is called coffee. This is called the coffee interior, I believe, double check me. But remember that your fabrics in this video can differ from what we actually have in stock sometimes. Um, I love this little hidden control panel right next to the door right here. Your water heater controls right here. This has a gas and electric water heater. You can run them both at the same time for fast recharge, up to 18 gallons of hot water per hour right here. You have your awning light controls right here, interior light controls, and then you'll have a couple individual spotlights for like reading lights and things like that. The awning button's right here. Uh, you saw me operate that and how quickly and easily it worked. So if you guys are, uh, if you wake up at night and your awning's banging around, you don't even got to get dressed. Just push the button, roll your awning up. Uh, again, you know, furniture options, things like that can vary. I'll try to point out the upgrades as we go through here. I haven't looked at the full upgrade sheet yet. Like, for instance, glancing at this, you can't tell if it's a standard AC or 15,000 BTU AC. 15,000 BTU is stronger. However, in this particular RV, I wouldn't be surprised if we left the standard AC on because we upgraded to Jayco's thermal package. That's part of the uh, enclosed underbelly. That also adds a layer of double-sided R14 radiant foil to the uh, ceiling, the floor, and the slide outs that most people don't have. Very few manufacturers insulate their slides. That's one of the things I like about Jayco's. Windows that open in the sides of the slide outs for cross ventilation. And notice that when you do pull these nice shades shut, you have full privacy because they did box the sides of these off. And all those little details, those are, those are things that some manufacturers do, some manufacturers don't. Those little things are the reasons like, you know, trailer A is a dollar less than trailer B. Uh, like for instance, we have a 33% larger eight cubic foot refrigerator and freezer here. That is standard in a J flight. Mo uh, most travel trailers and a lot of fifth wheels have a six cubic foot fridge. They just decided uh, so many people were upgrading to the eight cubic foot, they made it standard. Now that it's standardized, you get quality and repetition. People build the same thing the same way every time, every day. And then you, you greatly reduce the chance of uh, problems. They've even stepped up the, the look of the bathroom here, and this is just gorgeous. I mean, first of all, we have a, a nicer porcelain stool, not plastic stool. Um, you know, the, uh, the they've got like a really high definition uh, countertop on here. It looks super sharp, I'm really impressed. Now, one of the big things in any J flight is that they are three inches standard than the average travel trailer. Most travel trailers are eight, 78 inches tall. Um, J flights are 81 inches tall. Here's where it's a really big deal. Some manufacturers will try to say, oh, we can get the same interior height. Ours go 78 inches and then we have a cathedral ceiling. It's not as good, here's why. Um, the sidewalls are still lower, so the slide outs are lower. And that means that your shower is lower. And that means that your bunks are lower. And that means that your cabinets are lower. That 81 inches flat, straight across the ceiling means taller slides, taller bunks, taller cabinets, taller shower. It is a big darn deal. And uh, actually, a couple other very good selling brands have started, uh, saw that, you know, the success J Flight was having because of something as simple as a height change. And uh, they, a lot of guys are wanting to jump on that bandwagon now, but, you know, it means that it might be a dollar more. It might be a pound heavier. You also get a lot more coach for it. Um, we peeked at the bathroom. I forgot about that. I got sidetracked. Uh, let's step back here. Even back here in the bunkhouse, we have all LED lights. Now, this bunk over here, is 50% wider than a standard bunk, so this is good for big kids. And you don't have to throw them up there because Jayco builds in a heavy duty ladder. Now, you're gonna see other manufacturers build ladders. They build a little stick ladder. It's not as big, wide, thick, strong as this one. Um, also, they purposely built this with a series of shelves back here that are basically the exact depth of a DVD case. That's not an accident. It's, I mean, even the depth of the shelving was well planned here. These are Denver mattress bunk mats uh denver mattress is 
uh, like a, a residential name, and they're basically one of the most respected names in RV bedding right now. Um, so first of all, these mattresses are 50% thicker than what you usually find, and they have this little teddy bear coat here that's really soft, it's really comfortable, and the kids love to play with it. Um, we have two big closets over here that are on this side of the outside kitchen because the outside kitchen's under here. We have a giant hanging wardrobe closet right there. Um, the uh, entertainment center for the kids back here. You notice we have central air back here for the kids. And again, a pair of bunks on this side. But notice that each bunk has both its own window that does open for ventilation as well as its own spotlight. And even uh, a lot of, uh, like, there's going to be power outlets in every single sleeping space in here so that everyone can charge a phone, everyone can um you know we're on a laptop uh, you know uh, a tablet anything like that uh stepping forward here we've covered most of the living room already i just wanted to give you another quick look let's look at all the storage in here real quick so they they actually uh you know when flat screens became all the rage entertainment centers went from being 18 inches deep minimum to like sometimes two or three inches deep they got really small well, that meant that you lost a lot of really good storage. So Jayco has actually thickened up their entertainment centers effectively and made them deeper to give you that storage space back that you need. But it's the little things, again, that separate the J-Flight from other brands. A, a, the dumbest thing, a shoe garage. How many of you have bunkhouse campers? Raise your hands. Um, how many of you have a, a, a giant pile of shoes by the door? Drop your hands if that is not true. Everyone's hands are still in the air right now, I can guarantee it. Because anybody with a bunkhouse has a giant pile of shoes by the door. So they gave you a spot to keep that out of the way. It's that dumb little stuff that makes the day-to-day -day differences. Their entertainment centers uh, have recently been updated. First of all, you see this is the spinning uh, variety of entertainment center. Now what I like is it's bigger and they put a mirror on the back of it. So you can kind of get a double effect. First of all, a mirror is functional and usable. Secondly, a mirror reflects light and gives you the impression of negative space. That means that it's going to feel bigger, brighter, larger in here. That's Those are all good things. Um, the uh, TV is something that we generally include as an option. Uh, in this case, uh, I can tell you that in this particular trailer, we have already removed the TV for storage purposes. Um, you know, we unfortunately, we need to do that from time to time. Now, what's nice is all of your electronics have been upgraded to a full complement of Furion Electronics. Furion is like becoming very quickly the biggest, baddest name in RV and marine electronics because they build good stuff. Um, the, uh, the whole point is like their TV can be shaken really hard before it fails. It can be frozen and heated really hard and fast before it fails. Same with this stereo. Same with your outside speakers. These are all Furion Electronics. An RV is a rolling earthquake. This thing bounces down the road hard, guys. Um, plus, then you get hit by a, a headwind from a semi, and the thing, you know, you can't even imagine how much stress that goes through. It would literally blow a grown person off their feet. Um, the uh, uh, electronics have to be not the, the residential kind that you just get at the store. They have to be made for this kind of stress. Notice, too... Their uh, RVs for years have had high-def capable TVs, but they didn't include a high-def cable for you. So not only is Jayco spending the 20 to 40 extra dollars per trailer, and keep in mind they sell tens of thousands of these, that 20 40 dollars adds up a lot. So they're including this uh, HDMI cable, uh, and they're running it through the entertainment center for you so that A, you don't have to go spend the $40 on a cable, and B, you don't have to now have a cable, you don't either have to dig apart your entertainment center to run a cable or string an HDMI cable around your brand new entertainment center and your travel trailer that you just spent all this money on because that doesn't make sense. Moms and dads, grandpas and grandmas everywhere will recognize the timeout seat. Grandpas and grandmas know about the timeout seat less than moms and dads, but I understand why. Also, a handy little boot box, handy little storage area, handy little whatever you want, really. Mom and dad will enjoy the fact that they have a nice privacy door here. And I will say, they're putting better hardware on this than other brands I've seen. A lot of other brands, it seems like the door is really rickety. This is really solid. This is mounted and installed well. Um, the... Uh, bedroom up here this is a very minimalist bedroom however there's a lot of good things going on in here you still have your uh overhead storage as well as your side to side wardrobes uh we have a denver mattress pillow top 
uh, bed going on here. Anywhere that you sleep in a Jayco, they spend more money than anybody else. Um, you know, you spend one third of your life there. You have to enjoy it and you have to have comfortable sleeping. Both sides of the bed have residential outlets for, uh, you know, CPAP machines and alarm clocks and things like that. This side of the bed right here will also have a handy little USB and 12 volt uh, charging point uh, so that you can keep all your devices up and running and rolling. Again, Number one selling travel trailer for over 10 straight years. No one has ever done that before. And they are blowing away the number two brand. That's the thing is that it's not a close race, guys. Uh, J Flight is dominating the travel trailer market. You will find a travel trailer that is one pound less and one dollar less. It will not have the, the list of features and advantages and benefits that I've covered in this video. So give us a call. 800 256. Oh, look at this. I, just, I even missed one myself. Handy little uh, remote control center over here for things like awnings and, and probably like patio lights and whatnot. I mean, they're, they're, I do this every day and I'm having trouble keeping up with the massive list of things that go on with the J Flight because they are so far above and beyond anything in this class. Um, 800 256 5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Go have fun, everybody.